But this dude was, but and he had his moments where like he asked me one day, he was like, how come you don't ever sick me on nobody? I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Man, yeah. that's a, a point. Right. You did it. Because, like, I remember I was at a show one time. And this was, like, I was probably, like, a, uh, maybe, like, two years, year and a half, two, like, two years of doing stand-up. So, like, starting to do, like, you know, more paid shows. And we were on some show in Atlanta, and there was a DJ nigga, and the dude kept hugging me. And I'm, like, but it was, like, he was hugging me and holding on to me. And I'm, like, hey, man, you got to get off me, dog. Like, you need to chill. He was, like, oh, you cool, whatever. And I'm, like, yeah, no, nigga, I'm not cool. Get off me, dog. And so he was like, ah, you just being, and I was like, no, I'm not being too much. You need to back up. Thank you. And so he finally got out of my face. Cause I just was like, nigga, it'd be me. You, you have to stop. You're making me uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just drunk. La, 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 la. And so when, you know, I get off stage and he's standing there and he's like, you need me to talk to him. I was like, no, no, no. I don't want you to talk how you talk. No. Yeah. I don't want you to talk how you talk because when man. you talk, it, cause like the thing is he works as a repo man and he worked at a fashion restaurant and he was a bouncer at a club. Yeah. So he was in always, Atlanta fast food restaurant. You get like, no, this is in Athens. That. This nigga works in the country. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so this is country niggas, right? That's where you could get straight razor. Right. And so, <laughs> and then with him, you know, his family, you know, he came from a family you, you, and gang. Yeah. You know what it is, too? It's it's also like my sisters used to do that. And then I it would get like, but my, my, my middle sister, she she would have like she uh, she was not really close. So we never. And then she had this situation where this dude she was dating. Um, the dude was like, um, she says he was stalking her. Right. Oh, that's so happening. So, so now, nah, but here it, you gotta you don't know my sister. So um uh, so she the was nigga's she, dead wrong, period. No, nah, you don't you don't know my sister. Trust me. Let me when I finish okay. this, you're gonna hear. So she I said, look, um, so the dude was got out of jail, ex con, put together a little cleaning business, and he was cleaning the Staten Island ferries. So he had a little office, legitimate business, right? Huh. So um the nigga also, she also told me the nigga had the penis pump, the one where you, the, the like Austin the, Powers <laughs> penis like pump, the, the Swedish no, penis no, pump. No, 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 the the the, imp, the implant, the one where you pump. It oh. used to be a, you grab your ball and you pump it up like the um like, like a, Ewans, like, like a Reebok uh, uh, sneaker. Yeah, pump. like Reebok. They had oh, yeah, a, you could get they had a in, thing yeah. where it was built in, and you I had mean, like no, a little. I've never heard of this. A little, <laughs> they had like a little, like a a pressure pouch right and you and you get the erection right so anyway but this thing was a he was a thug like he was a thug they would stay penitentiary that's you some know, robocock was, shit right stick there sticking motherfuckers up and shit like that a thug with a robo dick oh, well, he got man. shot he got shot he got shot couldn't get it like close in the in the latin he could well something to, that affected the dick probably yeah there's so, a lot of okay, stuff hit him in the crotch area that's just rude you could hit so that I, man in the so stomach. i tell my sister i was like look you know you you go back and forth with this motherfucker all the time you you want me to talk to him yes i want you i was like look you you know are you sure, how this, are you, sure you want yeah. me to talk to him i said because it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be good right she goes I want you to talk to him now. I'm going in knowing he's a con. I know he got a he, he definitely got a ratchet on him or it's close by. Right. So I, I go to the office and I walk in. I walk in. The, the girl says, so you went you to talk. his job. I went to his job. Walk his way. His his receptions like you can't go in there. Busting the door. He's in there. La, 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 right. I see sitting on the desk. I just smack this nigga in the mouth. Pow! Right? I throw him over the desk. I jump over the desk. I put my knee in his stick, and I'm choking this nigga, right? What the fuck? I was like, yo, leave my fucking sister alone. You understand me? He was like, but I love her. <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm and I'm like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Stop loving her. And stop buying her roses, right? Okay. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, why am I... This nigga Why am I here? He's Stop in love with her. Picking her out right? to dinner every night. Stop treating her nice and buying her red roses. Like, what the fuck? But this is what I'm saying is my sister's right. So, um, I go back. I go, look, it's done, right? 
So my sister, we, we I, I like I didn't see her. So all of a sudden, my sister's calling me around Thanksgiving. This happens maybe June, July, August. My sister's calling me. She, we don't see. We don't talk. We ain't close. She's calling me. She's calling my mom at the time. Was like, you know, your sister calling you. She keeps saying she's trying to get in contact. I'm like, I ain't talking to that bitch. Whatever, right? Finally, my I go to my mom. I go, yo, what, what's up? She go, oh, she's back with him. Cool, 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 cool. She's back with the dude. Right. Now, in fact, this was right before Thanksgiving. So, and he's coming to Thanksgiving dinner. Wow. He wants cool. to know if I'm okay, okay with bringing this nigga. And I was like, why? I go, why would you? Why would you put me in that position? And then you back with this because motherfucker here's, again? Here's the difference between her and Dulce. Your sister has no respect for exactly. the consequences stuff because what the stories that Dulce is saying, like she told the guy, no, 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 I don't need you to talk to him because she knows what the fallout is going to be. And she knows that it's not going to be worth that for her no, or for I anyone told, involved. Because yeah. I told him I can handle it. Right. When I, I can't can, handle I, it, I'm going to let you know. Exactly. Then I'm going to let you handle it. Also, uh, exactly. the nigga was on probation. I don't need him going back to jail because right, the nigga was too much. Even but, if he wasn't on probation, now he's in this mix for this. Right. Mix. It, it don't but, even make no sense. But what I can say also about your sister. Hmm. You let me tell you something. You can say whatever you want hold to say about hold up, hold up. that there's bitch. Not, there's not going to be anything that you can say. There will be no blowback about what that. You might not have thought about is sometimes you need a nigga to know I can send somebody over here. She's not that smart. Oh, fair no. enough. Fair enough. But she's not that smart. It's just, it's, it's so, I can get tell you, it's, it's so reckless. Just Damn, so reckless. Because you, you know? want to, because like, honestly, what one of the heart is like, because you want to know just as a person, you got back up. I got know? it. I got, look, my younger sister would, would go, some shit would go and she, I would hear about it and I was like, yo, you need me to handle it. And she would be like, no, no, I, I got it. Now, when she called me, she knew what it was. Even, right. a, I, yo, did remember the, the uh, Dawn, Dawn, the, this chick I used to date. She, she, big old Instagram booty, right? Little ass, just like, ri like ridiculous. Stop the, sh would stop the, sh people would stop in the street and follow her home. Snowing Not out. as fun as you think it is. Well, I, it was for me. The, um, <laughs> the, so, so I mean, some you got to understand, Dante's a man with his own face on his Jeep. So it's a little <laughs> bit different for Dante than it is for everybody else. I the, mean, as someone who has been followed home, it's not always great. Oh, right, right, right. So the, the these dudes try to talk to her. They couldn't talk to her. She, she put her headphones on, kept her head. They threw snowballs at her, mm -hmm. right? So she comes in, <laughs> she's crying. She's like, they were throwing snowballs on me because I went and talk. Right? So I start lacing the boots up. I'm going up the block, right? Yeah. My mom, my mom is in the house. My mom goes, she goes, no to me. No, don't go. I don't want you to go. So my mom says, look, if you didn't want him to go, you should have wiped them tears outside the door. Don't come. Like, this is, my mom was like, this is happening. Don't this come in here with that. This is going down. You came in with tears. This right here is happening. Dante he'll, doesn't he'll, do catch and release. Like, <laughs> Dante, yeah. 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 You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.